today we're going to work on a background for your art journal. I have these digital backgrounds available on my website. You'll find the link down below. You can print these off on any kind of paper. I just did regular um, copy paper. I'm going to use some black, white, red, and blue paint. I have a book that I have turned into my art journal and I have painted a couple pages white. And I'm also going to use some Mod Podge. So that's about it for this. Oh, wait. And bubble wrap. This is my favorite thing to do. All right. So in this, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of see it. So there's some purpley, gray, dark, fun colors in this. So what I'm going to do first is take this paint and make a really soft gray. So that means a ton of white. All right. And I'm gonna paint it onto this bubble wrap. And I'm just gonna press it on here. It doesn't, I'm doing this in totally random order. Pick it up and do it again. I'm not going to put more paint on it. Okay. You see that? Yeah. And then I'm going to mix up. I'm not even going to bother to wash my brush out right now. Uh, and it's a dry brush. So I'm going to mix the red and the blue into a really pretty purple. And that's really, oh God, that's pretty. It's dark. So I'm going to try that, find a little corner. It's pretty dark, so I'm just going to do a little bit. Now, because that is dark and the flowers are dark, I'm going to add some white to it. did not wash my brush out. I just like to keep going. And I'm gonna go over where I put that before. And I think over this gray, I'm gonna add a little bit more. So while that is drying, I'm going to cut out the pieces that I like on this page. Now you can, you can use this whole page and just put it down in your journal if you want. I am choosing to really like this little pod right here, so I'm going to cut this out. So I've cut out these pods and I think I'm just going to do the one page on this. But because this is dark and this is dark, it's not showing up. So what I'm going to do, these are not showing up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an old key card and I'm going to dip it in this white paint and I'm going to go over. this background and then what that does is it pushes it back so it's not so strong there we go so that when i put these on here yep and i think i'm going to do a little bit more right here because I'm also thinking of the words that I want to put on here. So when I do this, 
I don't do it straight up and down. I do it at an angle, like almost flat. Oops, I also dropped it into black paint. Yay, that's okay. Okay, all right, so let me go dry that and we'll continue. Page is all dry, eh, almost. <laughs> page is all dry okay good um, and I went ahead and put the white paint over here as well just because I had white paint out and I figured if this side was too dark and overpowering that side is gonna be too dark and overpowering all right so I have cut out these little seed pods leaves and what you can do is just Kind of arrange them how you like. So I have an idea of what I want to put in here. But that's for the next video. So keep in mind, if you have a quote or if you have one word, if you have one word and you want it to be really bold, you could just put one leaf pod. If you have a quote, you could always weave it in and out of here. So where you just kind of have to think ahead just a little bit. So I kind of like how this is looking at a diagonal. And I think I'm gonna do the diagonal from here as well. Now, to put these on the page, I do have Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge, go ahead and use a glue stick. That will work just as well. So I'll put a thin layer on the back. And press it down. And I like to work from the middle to the outside, pressing that. do this one too. Now if you want you can put a layer of Mod Podge on the top. I'm not going to worry about it. All right and then I'll get this next one glued down. So here it is. It's all glued down. Um, here are a couple more things you could do. If you want to darken this up a little bit or outline it you can take a black pen i have a stabilo pencil that i'm going to use and i'm going to darken this up just a little bit around the edges it's also good to uh, make sure that the glue is dry and the other thing that's fun about these stabilo pencils is if you get them wet, they're gonna have a more painterly effect to them. So I'm gonna to to darken this a little bit. And there you have your first background. So uh, like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've tried it. I would love to know. And if you have any questions, you can put those in the comments as well. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for joining in.